Hey guys, girls, ladies, friends, people, how you doing? Um, much needed update video. I got a message on my uh, Facebook today of why haven't you done a video? And I feel shame. So actually I've done two videos and just not uploaded them. Um, and by the time I get ready to upload them, they're not relevant anymore. <laughs> so I'm just like, mm. it's kind of like putting false information out there. Um, so typically I would come back the next video and be like, hey, so last week I was wrong. And just, mm. So, um, yeah, I'll just give you a quick update of what's going on and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, the scale situation. Um, I've cheated a couple times and I've, I have jumped on just been like, mm -hmm, what's going on? Uh, the problem with cheating on it is that I never cheat on it at the time I would typically cheat on it, which would give me an accurate view of what I am. So it's always like in the evening or midday or something like that. So of course there's going to be fluctuations. Um, however, I can say this, I have done it enough. I've done it enough. I've not done it enough that I feel like I am somewhat sticking to my goal of not stepping on it only because it's like, it's maybe once a week at the most. So, um, so I'm okay with, with once a week. I mean, it's, it's something in the world. I'm still going to try to stay off of it as much as I can. Uh, I don't want to go back to every day. But um, it, it, hasn't, it hasn't flustered me too much. The situation is I'm really not losing weight. Now, I will say I did cheat and I did get on it this morning. And so I'm one pound below what I usually... Uh, what, what my lowest has been. So... Uh, it's 2.09. And um, I, I don't know. I kind of, I've been fluctuating. I've been going back and forth. But I, I my training is really high. And, and you don't need to message me and, and tell me about um, needing to intake more or anything like that. I, I know I know the, the math behind it. I understand it. Um, but I'm not going to overeat simply so I can lose weight. Um I'm just going to live my life, and, and that's what it is. It's, it's, for me, it's not the, about the numbers. The only thing, the seriously only thing, I, I told my wife this, I was like, I'm so mad because the, the only reason I even care, I mean, I don't care. Like, I feel like I look fine. You know, I go cycling now, and I wear my skin-tight cycling clothes, and I'm okay with it. Like, I don't feel like I look like an oompa loompa out there. I might, but I don't think I do. Um, I feel okay, and so um, the only issue that I have is my stinking race wheels. And you have to understand, my race wheels are like the equivalent of about twenty five hundred dollars worth of race wheels, and um, that's a lot of money. And I, and I've even had to repair them, put some new bearings in them, and stuff like that, put new tires on them. So. You know, to not be able to race my race, I have to be down to 190 to get on my race wheels. Um, now, could I race my races and probably get away with it? Yeah, maybe for a season I could. <clears throat> I think after a while you might get some warping. They're not going to collapse under me or anything like that. They might just kind of get a little warping or something. Yeah, it's just going to be a situation where they're, they'll slightly start to warp maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. So, um... So it might be I get through this season with them, and then next season I have to upgrade to some Clydesdale ones or something like that. Now you say, well, why don't you just lose more weight? I'm really starting to think that there's not much more I can lose. Um, I'm very, I'm very trim in most places. The problem that I have is, is right now is more skin issues than anything. I think after watching The Real Skinny, which 99% of us did, um... I, I, my body, I look a lot like Sarah did when, when I have my clothes off. And, um, so I have an extreme amount of excess skin. My doctor said, you know, I would look at you more as a guy who just has a lot of excess skin right now. Um, cause we can take it and we can pull it tight and like pull it, you know, so it's just, I have a lot of weight of excess skin and I'm six one. And so six one, you know, my, my, I think 190, I think 190, 195 is actually like a healthy BMI. And so I'm not very much off of that if you take off the skin. So if, uh, 
if we were to remove the skin, I think I might look like a normal person. I'm not sure. So, um, yeah, I don't know how much more I'm going to lose. So, um, with that though, I, I'm not upset about it. I feel like it's, it's the only reason that I even think about it is because of those race wheels. I don't think about like, I like what I look like. I like the way I feel. I'm happy, everything like, and I'm below my goal. I mean, my goal was, was 225 and I'm at 209 right now. That's good. Even if I fluctuate five, six, seven pounds back and forth, like it's not the end of the world for me. Um, I've adopted a lifestyle of, of training and, and really fighting for myself. I'm not going to like get to the, a race and then just taper off and just stop doing doing anything. I'm still going to do it. I, if I have to, you know, I, I'll probably do, as long as my half Ironman goes well, I'll probably at least do half Ironmans. I don't know if I'm going to do a full. Um, I, I've always kind of dreamed of doing a full, but now I'm kind of like, well... Like I, I look at the training that goes in, that's involved in a full and I don't have anyone to watch my kids. I have been, if you guys are Facebook friends with me, you'd see I've been begging for local people to help me and everyone's turned, turned me down. Um, so my family's not from here. Uh, my family is four and a half, five hours away. And, uh, my wife's family is like three hours away. So we have no, no support up here and I'm the stay at home dad. So to get real good extensive training in like I need to, somebody's going to have to watch my kids at least a couple days a week. And no one wants to do that. So I don't see myself being able to complete a, a full Ironman until possibly, well, until Emma's in kindergarten, maybe, or first grade. And that's if we have no more kids. And so she's only like a year and a half right now. So it's going to be quite a few years. Um, but I think the half distance is something I can practically train for and, and put in good time and everything. I'm doing it right now and I'm doing, I'm doing quite well. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I, like I said, I, I don't know. I might do the half and be like, oh, I can easily do a full. Who knows? I don't know. But, um, for me, uh, it's, it's still a good distance. It's still a good distance. It's not your typical distance. And, uh, and, and I like, I like the extra mileage that I'm doing for the half marathons and stuff. Uh, moving past that, um, there's been rumors that I'm going to go to Vegas, uh, that I am not going to go to Vegas. So, um, I was going to try to go. Um, then I decided not to go. And then I was going to go with this company that was going to be a vendor, but we couldn't pull it together at the last minute. And so we're going to go next year and, and not this year. Um, and maybe we'll try to do some local, uh, meet and greets or something like that. Uh, the company, I, I'm going, you're going to be hearing more about them and everything. Um, I've been, I tested the product and, uh, the product's name is you are driven. Uh, you are is the company. And so, uh, if you think about like, hammer or goo or anything that's like you have that's the name of the company is like hammer and so you have you are which is just you and r and then their their one product that they have right now is called driven which is a uh, electrolyte um sports drink enhancement drink um and so driven is all they have right now but they're looking at expanding um after meeting me and after talking to me and everything, Dale has decided that he would actually really like to become a part of this community and, uh, and to make products that are safe for people that have had weight loss surgery. Um, there's still things that you can't get away with, like you can't make a sugar-free, uh, sorry, I keep getting interrupted by my kids. You're not going to see this. I'm going to edit everything out, but I keep getting interrupted by my kids because one kid's turned the channel and the other kid's thrown a fit about it. Um, so anyways, uh, so Dale is, is interested in, oh, okay. So we talked about sugar free products. Uh, you can't make sugar free. Yeah, you, you can't because, um, part your body needs sugars when you're exercising and working out. Um, it's vital to, uh, working out. So you can't make sugar free. However, you can make it in a way that's, that is 
distributed properly and um, more efficiently. And so it's not like buying a sugary drink. Um, in fact, Driven is not a sugary drink at all. It has about eight grams of sugar per serving. And uh, it's, it's delivered in the form of dextrose, which is not even, I think it's like number six or seven in the ingredients scale. Which if you ever know, if you're looking at ingredients, the t first three things is basically what the product is consistent of. And so if you ever look at something, it's like water, sucrose, dextrose, high fructose corn syrup, sugar, whatever. If those are in the top three after water, uh, it's basically a sugar drink. Um, this is like way down the line. Um, but he's, they've developed uh, scientifically a very high performance product that is nothing like that's on the market. Um, and the, the carbs in it are slow release carbs that will slowly release into your system throughout your workout. And um, he's even put a little bit of uh, uh, whey protein isolates in there, extracted the lactose in them so that they're a little bit safer for the stomach. And uh, it's, it's a great product. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because he's actually agreed, I've asked him and he's agreed that we're actually gonna do like a two or three part series. I'm gonna do an interview with him and put the video up for you guys. Um, but on top of that, after meeting me, talking with me and stuff like that, they're starting to work on other products like a recovery product and stuff like that. And they actually wanna sit down with me and work on you know, what, what do you guys need and stuff like that and, uh, and make something more specific for us because he's really inspired by, he's been watching a lot of videos and he's really inspired by the people that are just getting up there and getting out there and doing something. And so he's like, hey, I, I want to jump all on board with this stuff. And so, um, so yay, yay. Uh, I'm excited about it. And um, I'm kind of, you know, meeting and working with him on the side and everything. I'm not being paid or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just passionate about it to the point where I'm like, I want to help. And so, um, so that's what I'm doing. And uh, we're working on something before we make those videos. We're working on um, something that we can get in your hands and stuff like that. I think it's about done. But uh, I told him you can't make a video and not be like, you know, order a 40 pound tub or a $40 tub of this stuff and try it for yourself. I'm like, this is not going to work. And so we're working on getting some stuff in your hands. So, um, so once that's all done, then we'll, I'll come on and do a video and we'll talk about it. Uh, this stuff is good stuff, guys. It's, it's really good stuff. I, I, as a guy who's run for well over a year and a half and raced and everything else, I can tell the difference between this and anything else I've ever put in me. So um, it's, it's good stuff. And it's basically the design of it is making it safe for sensitive GI tracts so you don't get the bloating, the over sugar feeling, the low ass feeling and all that. Um, it takes it all out so you don't have GI issues. So it's good for... So yeah, it's good for R and Y because it does it's not high in sugar and stuff like that. But it's good for everybody because um, for lap banders, for DS, for application, whatever you've got, um, BSG, whatever, it's it's going to be good for you. Even nor just everyday normal people that don't have the surgery, it's going to be good for them simply because of the way that they've they've been able to deliver it to you. They use very very expensive ingredients. Um, that other companies don't want to touch because of their markups, um, that they want to, they want their profit margins and all that kind of stuff. And so, um, but they went ahead and put it in because they believe in what they're doing, uh, more than just trying to make a dollar, which of course they're trying to make a dollar too. Don't get me wrong. But, um, so anyway, so that's, that's that. I haven't talked about it for a while and it's just cause I've been kind of iffy. I'm sorry about not doing an update for a couple weeks. Uh, Training has just been so intense and I've uh, been so busy and everything else. So, uh, love you guys. Talk to you later.